Hello everyone. Holden in the way. You find me today on the back porch. Uh, it's not too cold. It's typical February temperature, 30 degrees. And um, yeah, can't complain right now. A week ago at this time, we had just gotten about seven inches of snow and uh, nothing like that since. Uh, today, I'm smoking my Ratos pipe. Uh, this was a gift from Emile, and I did a video on it. It's uh, made in France for the Swedish pipe smoking community, and um, it's a really, really nice pipe. Conical shaped bowl, smokes very cool, and um, I'm really enjoying this pipe. If I can get it lit. And in it, I am smoking jackknife plug. GLPs. A really delightful blend. Very full bodied and, and um, uh, complex. Uh, very, very enjoyable uh, for winter smoking. Um, so my reason for coming to you today is because I received a, a box from Emil in Sweden. And I wanted to share the contents with you and to, of course, thank Emil so much for his kindness and generosity. It's absolutely amazing. Um, he did say he was going to send me a, a pipe that was actually made in Sweden and uh, to add to my collection. So um, here it is. The rustication on this is absolutely amazing. Nice thick bowl. Very elegant. Mm. He sent me some information on this and I did a little digging on my own and um, there weren't that many uh, Swedish pipe manufacturers over the years, uh, but this one uh, was interesting in the fact that uh, it was a father-son uh, combo. The father was the had the ex business experience, and the son was a, a wood carver, and um, so the son, consequently, designed and and made the pipes, and the father took care of the business end, and they were in business from uh, 1931 to 1979 when the son, Gusta, retired. The father was Helmar, and they were the Eliassons. Um, so it's just for me, it's wonderful to have uh, that history and, um, and 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 the knowledge uh, of of this pipe uh, for my collection. So thank you so much, Emil. Really, I'm really gonna enjoy smoking that. I'm sure. Uh, but he didn't stop there. <laughs> he also sent. I'm gonna put this down. Uh, he also sent me some tobacco. And. So I will show you. Ah, we have some HU Alstom Crater. Gonna HU uh, Peace Pipe Man Art sent me some HU blends uh, very kindly, and uh, I've been enjoying those. Uh, uh, I haven't gotten through all of them yet, but what I've had has been very, very enjoyable. Uh, so another HU blend, uh, Nyla. And a McBaron Stockton 2016. Ooh, very good. Very good. And there's more. Excuse me while I go through this. Um, ah, yes. It, Emil did send me a bro note, a very nice one. And um, in it, uh, he said that there was a pressed uh, block here that he made with some very unusual uh, and tobaccos, tobaccos that you can't get a hold of, like a brown capstan. I've never heard of that. So really interested to tuck into that and see what that's all about. Uh, Kendall Cream Deluxe Flake, had not had that yet. Some Zephyr, I have to look into some of these I've never heard of. Uh, and a Brown Sugar Flake. And 
You've outdone yourself, Emil. <laughs> he sent me some Pretty Cambridge Flake. Very nice. And some H and H Armada. So, and then to top it off, two Swedish OTC blends, Hamilton's, which he sent me previously, along with the uh, Rotus pipe. And uh, I really like this. It's just in time because I'm running out. So thank you for that. And Princeton, which I don't know too much about. I did look it up and uh, it got some really good reviews. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to giving those a go. Um, thank you so much, Emil. That was really uh, a wonderful package. And um, he and I have, have been corresponding over email and, and getting to know each other a little bit. And uh, it's, it's turning into a, it's, it's a great friendship. And I really appreciate the fact that i um, gotten to know you and it never would have happened without YouTube. So I'm gonna light this up real quick. Jeez. But that's not all. It's been a banner week because I also received a package from Jack the Piper, Giuliano. Um, I sent him some, some tobaccos uh, for, as a housewarming gift. Um, he recently moved from London to Luz. And, um, and so, as typical, uh, I thought a housewarming gift of tobacco would be appropriate. I hope his girlfriend doesn't mind. Um, and he returned the favor. Ah, special at Ikea Flake, Germains. Mm. Wonderful. And <laughs> a huge tin with a question mark on it. He told me it's a mystery plug. So I'm all in for mysteries, but oh, it's all taped. So anyway, I, at a later date, I'm going to open this and give it a go, and then I'll do a uh, review. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> so um, the other thing um, that was a part of this package was um, later this month, I, I celebrate a birthday, and so I wanted, uh, there was a, tamper that uh, Giuliano makes that uh, that I really wanted to get my hands on and so I asked him if he would uh, make one for me for, for uh, and I thought it'd make a good uh, birthday present I already have the Big Ben tamper that he made which is wonderful but I also wanted the uh, Gandalf And he very kindly obliged me. So here it is. Mm. <laughs> mm. Isn't that wonderful? You can't have too many tampers. So I'm going to uh, treasure this one and add it to my collection of tampers. Thank you very much, Giuliano. Uh, I love your work and I understand that you're now getting into um, pipe making, which is really exciting and so, and growing tobacco. So uh, put me on the list uh, when you start um, uh, harvesting that tobacco and um, yeah, and pipe making. So we have so many talented people in this community. It is amazing. And I just realized that I also need to show off my Sea Smokes t-shirt. If you haven't purchased one of these so that you can walk around downtown in your city and say, yeah, I'm a pipe smoker. <laughs> Look into that, um, Eric Weaver, Sea Smokes offering a bunch of different uh, t-shirts and this is the one that I chose and I'm wearing it proudly today Eric so uh, it is a red letter day 
for uh, the, the uh, for, for HQ, the Johansson HQ. Uh, two wonderful packages uh, that I truly appreciate, guys. And um, I hope you're all having a great week and the uh, weekend coming up, Super Bowl, if you choose to watch that, uh, could be exciting. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get on with this pipe and wish you all a good day. Take it easy, but take it.